I'd like to know why, God. Why is there so much pain in this world? Why did my little precious doggy die? It was so sudden and so fast. Minkies was by my side for a number of years, being my service dog. She sat on my lap over 50 flights going to Florida Keys from Oregon. She was a wonderful dog. But I want to know why. Why? Why did my dear little friend die? Why did my dearest lifelong friend Lolita die from anaphylactic shock reaction to latex? And now I lost another friend, Laura, because of the fires down in Northern California, Southern Oregon border. Laura was exposed to toxic fumes and it triggered an immune response. She suffered for four months, gasping for every breath. Her body finally gave out. She was a beautiful young woman. Why did she die? And not some monster who is evil. Why? Why do good people die? Why have my three precious kitties died? And my satin girl. She was my service animal. Black Lab. She was the most precious dog you have ever met. She was a pet therapist at Adventist Hospital for a number of years. Everybody loved her. She dressed up like a clown and she was so proud when she visited patients. I want to know why, God. Why? Do animals go to heaven? Will they be there when we get there? Are they there now? I want to know why. I'll, I'll be giving an update about this. Am I missing Duck Huey? Why? Huey is gone and presumed dead. He, he couldn't last more than 48 hours. It's been three days now. He doesn't know how to forage for food. I raised him from a baby duckling. He was just hours old when his mama abandoned him. I want to know why. Why God allows this. If he loves us, why does he allow all this pain and suffering? Does he cause it? People say, God won't give you more than you can handle. That's not true, folks. That is a twist of scripture. It does not say that. God says that when there's trials, he will make a way for you to handle it. I'm going to be giving an update in a couple of days, maybe later today, maybe tomorrow. About my thoughts, my discoveries in reading the Bible. I've been a Bible scholar my entire life. When I was a little girl, four or five years old, I remember praying to God. I remember trusting Him. And that faith has just gotten stronger every day. I want to know why my husband had tongue cancer when he was 35 and then a heart attack when he was 65. Thin, fit, top physical shape, and he, he, he's been on a vegan diet, very careful with his diet. And then he has a heart attack, and he had to have a triple bypass. I'm gonna have some answers. For those of you that are angry at God, Pay close attention. The answer is far different than what you think. 
you'll be surprised. God bless. And watch for my next video. Subscribe. Hit the bell icon. That will notify you when my story is up.